up troops, welcome back to the Latana army, I'm Lit and this is Fortnite Save the World PvE. Now a few people have asked me how do you get legendary weapons in Fortnite or how do you get legendary heroes and the mythic stuff. So I've just put a quick guide together, it's only going to be short hopefully and showing you all the best ways to do that. Just to remind you guys before we get started, there is a Gleam competition down below in the description where you can win a copy of Fortnite Save the World, so I hope to see you in that as well. So without further ado, let's jump in and get started. Okay, so the first way to get your hands on the good stuff is to be a part of Twitch Prime uh, or Amazon Prime, whichever one it is. Now, I think A1 Get This Money's done a video on how to actually link your accounts. I'll put a link to that in the description down below. And you get this one, Rescue Trooper Havoc. You also get Battle Royale rewards with that as well. So an easy way then to actually get some legendaries is just to be a part of that. You don't have to do anything for that. Just be a member and you just link your accounts that way and you'll get them put into your inventory. Okay, so the most obvious way to get legendaries and mythics and things like that is to use the llamas. You know, for these you need V-Bucks, everybody wants V-Bucks, don't get me wrong. I would probably avoid the upgrade llamas because, the, you know, the chances of actually getting those is low. Kakamouth from the Epic Games forums actually said you may as well go to Vegas and try and, you know, put all your money into there because you've got more chance of winning than you have of getting a legendary in these. I'm not sure about the math behind that, but, you know, he's probably, he's, you know, he's definitely right in the fact of you don't get many from this. Now, the best way to get it is look out for these ones on the right-hand side. When you see troll llamas coming up, go for those. You definitely want to plow your V-Bucks into them. These super melee llamas, not so great, but if you see the word troll in this line here, definitely jump in and fill your boots if you're an avid PvE player. I've done a video on opening the super troll truck llamas. Definitely worth going to worth check that out because you'll see just how many you can get in there. And the other way you've got is this one, getting firecracker tickets and getting spring llamas. Dead easy to get, you know, there's a repeatable quest on there at the minute. So all you do is find the fireworks that are on the maps. They're on pretty much every map. I think they're on every map, but they're on most maps at least. And what you have to do is unleash the fireworks and they will drop three tickets. When you get to 40 tickets, when you've collected those up, it'll give you 100 firecracker tickets, what you can spend on your spring llamas. Another way to get those as well, if you go into the actual quest and just do the quest line, you know, from that, you will get rewards. So if you look there, I've got firecracker tickets. And, you know, I'm going to get 500 there. Two of those, I can open Alarma pretty much straight away. If you go to play, go to view event, and just work through the spring it on event. I've not even finished it yet. I really should get on with that. But, you know, if you go there, look, you've actually got a ticket there, what you can get. I don't know how many that gives. I don't know if it's 1,000 or 500. But it's just another llama that you can open. To be honest, if you keep working through the quest line, you'll get those quite regularly, and you'll be opening those all the time. So... You know, it's a great way to do it. Another great thing about this is as well, in the event, you've got Spring It On Gold. Now, I don't know if you noticed when I was over here, you've got this look. You work through the quest and you get Spring It On Gold. Also, if you go to the map, most quests will give it you as well. Spring It On Gold. Uh, do you know, I don't, again, I don't know if it's in every quest, Spring It On Gold. It looks like it is. But every quest here, look, Spring It On Gold, Spring It On Gold, and just work your way through that. And obviously, the harder the quest, the more Spring It On Gold you're going to get. And you can actually go then to the loot tab over there, click on event, and you can buy these heroes as well. So you've got Wukong, was quite a new one at the time I'm recording this. You've also got a Snuggle Specialist Sarah from the Valentine's Day event. And you've also got this Legendary Flux, which I will explain next on how we're going to use that, because that comes in when you're upgrading the rarity of your heroes. So, do you know, gold is a great way to get it. So using the Spring It on Gold and also getting the Firecracker tickets as well is a great way to get Loot Llamas to open it up that way. Okay, so the other way that you can do this as well, if you go to Armory and you go to Transform, you also get these Transformation Keys. Now, there are two types of keys. There's the these keys, which are the permanent keys. I can use these all the time. Now, I've not got any Legendaries in here just yet, but later on in the game, I'm sure these are going to be extremely valuable. And then what you do, you've also got these keys, which is the consumable keys. These are one-time use only. So once you've used them, that's it. Now, if we open this Legendary Hero up here, what I do, you have to meet the quota that's on there. So for this one, it's a 1,000. So by that, what I mean is you click plus in there and each hero or each item will be assigned a point. Now, if I put her into there, look, so if I put Assassin Sarah into there, 500. And then I can also put in, uh, you know, I'll put in Penny into there as well, Cat Constructor Penny. And that's 500, that's my 1,000. All I would do then is hit Transform and I would get a legendary hero that way. Now also, you know, you don't you not just, don't just have to put heroes in there. You know, you might have legendary weapons that you don't want, so you could put like, you know, some of these in there that you're not leveling up. You know, you could do it that way. As long as you meet the quota, doesn't really matter. So I'll not use any of these, you know, I don't really like the uh, the Dragon's Fang. We did a video on that as well, but I could use that and I could actually, uh, you know, get that in there and I could actually get now the legendary hero just by using those up. Uh, another way that you could do it as well, 
if you wanted, you don't have to just put your legendaries in there. You can mix it up. So you could put some, you know, I might want to put some epics in from that one, and then I might want to put, you know, uh, survival, you know, survival in from that one. Uh, do you know, and you just put it, put it in how you want. You know, you can mix it up. Whatever you've got, you know, whatever you've got in your inventory, you can use to make up that thousand quota. And that's just another way that you could get a legendary hero that way. Okay, so going over to the heroes then, you may have seen uh, my video on Urban Assault Headhunter, which I absolutely love this hero, but I've only got her as an epic. Now what I want to do is upgrade the rarity over there, I've not got all the maps to do this yet, but you just click upgrade rarity, and all I need to do is get this hero XP up, I've nearly done that already, that won't take long, and then just buy the legendary flux, now that is what takes ages to get. So if you can get it in the event, buy as much as what you can. It's a slow process this, it's not a quick one, you're not going to be thinking, oh I've got an epic, I'll just upgrade quick. You really have to put some thought into this because it takes ages to get the actual legendary flux. Uh, I don't know if there's any guides on how to get more flux, but I think you can only get five at a time. But yeah, so what I need to do is keep doing that and eventually once I've got that up to 100, then I can actually upgrade and I can have the Urban Assault Headhunter legendary version there. So if I go over to the actual loot page over there and events, so look, I can only buy five at a time from there. You know, so in the next event, there might be another five, there might be ten, there might be fifteen, it just varies. But all I will do is keep buying that up. So I'll probably get this mythic hero that I want first, and then after that, I will go and get the legendary flux so that I can use the um, you know, I can use the upgrade rarity feature and do it that way. So we're gonna call it for there, guys. That's pretty much you know, that's pretty much all that I've got for you. If you've got something else that you want to know on there, you've got a question, let me know in the comments. Make sure that you're entering the gleam competition that's in there, because I'd love to get more players onto Fortnite Save the World. It's an awesome game with loads of depth. And it's one of those that we'd love to have you as part of the community. Join the Discord as well. And don't forget to subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.